Hello, this is Sandra Barris, and we're back with the Torah portion of the week. And this week, our portion is Vayeshev. Uh, this is a portion that focuses on Joseph. Uh, we learn at the very beginning that Vayeshev means settled. Jacob settled in the house, in the land uh, where his father lived, in the land of Canaan. And immediately, we learn the story of Joseph. And of course, the most distressing part of this week's Torah portion is the sale of Joseph. And it's a very, very terrible, terrible story that has ramifications uh, on the Jewish people uh, to this very day. And that's something that we will certainly explore. But I want to first take a look at exactly what happened. Let's try to understand what happened, who did what, etc. So let's start with chapter 37, verse 18. We have a situation here where... The uh, brothers, Joseph brothers, of course, Joseph is already, uh, the father, uh, Jacob, has favored Joseph. He's given him a multicolored coat. There's already resentment. Joseph is a dreamer. All this is the background. And now we have a situation where all the brothers have gone north uh, in the area of Dotan, near Shechem, uh, to graze the sheep, and Jacob has sent Joseph to find them. Uh, chapter 37, verse 17. No, uh, verse 18, excuse me. And when they saw him from afar, the brothers now singing Joseph, even before he approached them, they conspired against him to put him to death. And they said one to another, Behold, the dreamer has come. Come now, therefore, let us slay him and cast him into one of the pits. And we will say, Some evil beast has eaten him, and we will see what will become of his dreams. Clearly they... They, they want to kind of, they're, they're so angry at him, but it all comes down to these dreams that he seems to be lording over them. And Reuben heard it, and he delivered him out of their hands and said, let us not kill him. Okay, so the first thing we see that it isn't a unanimous kind of thing to kill him, but actually uh, Reuben wants to rescue him. He wants to prevent this from happening, and he says we should not kill him. And Reuben said unto them, Shed no blood, cast him into this pit that is in the desert, but lay no hand upon him, that he might deliver him out of their hands to restore him to his father. This is, scripture kind of tells us what Reuben's plan is. Reuben says to his brothers, we'll throw him into the pit. But really his plan is to save them. Okay, onward. And it came to pass, when Joseph was, had come to his brothers, that they made Joseph strip off his long, uh, long-sleeved garment, uh, the, the, the uh, coat of many colors that was on him, and they took him and cast him into the pit. And the pit was empty, there was no water in it. And they sat down to eat bread. Nice fellows, right? They just threw their brother into a pit, and now they're having a feast. And they lifted up their eyes and saw, and behold, a company of Ishmaelites came from Gilead with their camels bearing spicery and balm and labdanum, whatever that is, going to bring it down to Egypt. To watch this program in its entirety, go to www.glc.us.com or simply click the link below.